What's up everyone, this is Tywan Hubbard with HU Hub and we're here to do a product proof video for the HU Bev Hydro Shop. Recently this product uh, was publicized in an actual article um, to look at some of the data uh, behind the product um, and how it can translate into actual um, therapeutic benefits for those who have contracted COVID-19 um, as well as for general health. Uh, this product in particular uh, is quite unique. Uh, typically this product is seen as a healthy beverage um, that can be um, uh, consumed uh, by anybody but recently um, within this published article uh, on this actual product um, it looks like it can be a functional beverage uh, because of the two therapeutic agents that it actually um, uh, actually has in it and so in this video we're going to go over some of the data uh, regarding this product um, in light of the actual literature uh, that's publicized on it First, let's go ahead and discuss the two therapeutic agents that are actually contained within the product. Uh, first, molecular hydrogen, which is also called hydrogen gas, um, is being extensively studied uh, and has been extensively studied over the last 10 years with upwards of 1,500 publications over the medicinal uh, benefits of molecular hydrogen, um, as well as 80 plus preclinical and clinical human trials on molecular hydrogen. Um, molecular hydrogen is a gaseous signal, signal modulator or a gaseous signal mole, molecule um, that, that has the ability to be able to exert anti-inflammatory, anti, uh, antioxidant, as well as um, immunal benefits to the human body. Uh, secondly, the second therapeutic agent that's actually contained within this product is citrulline, uh, which is a nitric, nitric oxide producing agent. Um, now, nitric oxide has been obviously studied extensively with over 60,000 um, 60, um, publications on the benefits of nitric oxide to the human body, and it's also a gaseous si signal uh, molecule uh, that has the ability to be able to exert anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and immunal benefits to the human body. Uh, nitric oxide is also um, a free radical. Uh, and it has benefits towards um, vasodilation, as well as the ability to directly uh, kill pathogens and inhibit viral, viral replication. Uh, and so we will touch on both of these um, more so in the actual uh, literature. Um, they will highlight these and how this product puts both of these two together and how they actually might work together synergistically. So let's go ahead and look over some of the actual um, quotes from the actual literature and the title of this uh of this review article um, discussing uh, H2 bed um, in relation to COVID-19 or even to general health. Now, the title of this article is A Novel Functional Beverage for COVID-19 and Other Conditions, Hypothesis and Preliminary Data Increase Blood Flow and Wound Healing. Uh, this article was published in April, or I believe the beginning of April, April 1st, uh, 2020. Um, and uh, we'll just go through it and look at some of the highlights. Um, one of the first things I think is very important that the article uh, publicizes um, about the product in particular is that it was, uh, its H2 concentration was actually tested um, uh, with gas chromatography uh, and, and, uh, and it was actually determined that this product contains over two milligrams per liter or two PPM. Um, and within its volume size, uh, that's over a half a milligram of hydrogen gas dissolved into this actual beverage. Uh, that corresponds well with what we know right now with human data. Um, and a half a milligram up to, uh, you know, uh, even 15 milligrams um, has been uh, used in, uh, in human studies and have shown uh, uh, therapeutic effects um, as, a, uh, as an actual dose. And then uh, currently, um, uh, it mentions as well currently that there are four clinical trials that are being uh, there are four clinical trials investigating molecular hydrogen um, for patients suffering suffering from COVID nineteen uh, and some of the preliminary data that we got right now actually shows very positive results and so uh, as a therapeutic agent uh, we see this product has a a concentration a therapeutic concentration and dose. Um, and as well, uh, molecular hydrogen is actually being investigated uh, clinically uh, for COVID-19 patients. Uh, the article ends up going over some of hydrogen's um, immune functions. Um, and since hydrogen has the ability to be able to regulate um, pro-inflammatory mediators, 
um, uh, and anti-inflammatory mediators, um, it appears to have uh, very positive effects on our actual immune system. And, uh, and so one of the highlights, uh, one of the things I wanted to highlight is this actual quote here, hydrogen down, um, hydrogen rich water down regulates pro inflammatory genes, um, like, uh, like NF kappa B, um, and, uh, in, and inner and interleukin six, uh, and can upregulate the an anti-inflammatory cytokines, uh, such as, uh, interleukin 10. Uh, and so it only echoes what I was just mentioning about hydrogen being able to have this regulatory effect over our pro-inflammatory cytokines. Um, now, it also mentions the fact that hydrogen is able to um, have uh, the possible uh, benefit of um, preventing um, hypertension uh, as well as uh, fever and, neuro and neuroinflammation and promote recovery. Um, and so... Uh, that's also something that we see um, hydrogen being able to induce these benefits uh, in relation to our uh, immune system or its immune function uh, for our human bodies. As we move down, um, there's a good quote towards the end of this actual section of the article about hydrogen's immune function. It says, in addition to the high cellular bioavailability of the H2 molecule, its immunomodulating activity coupled with its ability to restore homeostasis to the dysregulation of cytokines, i.e. prevention slash attenuation of cytokine storm, gives it a significant therapeutic advantage over other medical interventions. All right, another portion of this article that I do want to highlight um, is its uh, section on nitric oxide and the uh, immune system or immune function. Um, and it, in particular, it states here that nitric oxide is a gaseous signal molecule. Nitric oxide is long recognized as one of the most versatile and key regulators of the immune system. Um, it also uh, discussed what I discussed earlier as well, uh, that nitric oxide uh, has the ability to inhibit a viral uh, replication or the viral um, replication cycle. Um, and, uh, and so, uh, one, one thing in particular that stands out, um, is this quote here where it says nitric oxide gradually decreases with age up to 75% in 70 to 80 year olds as compared to 20 year olds. Um, and this can lead to significant issues like micro, um, circulation, um, dysregulation of blood flow. Um, and another, um, and all other kind of issues that can, uh, be associated with it. And uh, so nitric oxide is very important. Um, and the way this product actually goes about um, uh, increasing nitric oxide within our bodies uh, is through a supplement called citrulline. Uh, and so citrulline um, has been shown through a research um, for those who are in normal health conditions uh, to be able to uh, increase nitric oxide within our plasma. Um, a lot better than um, Argentine, um, uh, and uh, and so uh, that's why in, that's why in particular HU Bev uses citrulline uh, to actually in, increase um, nitric oxide levels in our body. And so um, one thing in particular that you'll see uh, throughout this article in general is um, a discussion talking about the possibility of hydrogen molecular hydrogen. Um, who has uh, regulatory effects, uh, seems to have regulatory effects within our immune system uh, to be able to have the ability to actually regulate nitric oxide. And so uh, this can lead to the actual uh, position that they actually might have a synergistic effect because nitric oxide outside of its, uh, within stressful conditions or outside of uh, its, normal, its normal homeostatic um, concentrations uh, that it needs to be, uh, can cause uh, cell injury and even can lead to cell death. And so um, something in particular in this article that we will see is that um, looks like hy hydrogen's um, able to work synergistically with nitric oxide uh, and we'll be able to reap the, the actual beneficial effects of nitric oxide without actually overexpressing nitric oxide as well or the negative or negating the negative effects that could be associated with it. And so um, here in general, it says right here that molecular hydrogen regulates nitric oxide levels uh, via both reducing excessive production um, by, su by suppressing um, 
nitric oxide synthase uh, activity um, and also in increasing production of, uh, of uh, enhancing um, um, in endothelial uh, nitric oxide synthase activity. And so hydrogen seems to have this regulatory effect on nitric oxide. As we see here, also in the article, um, it discusses how nitric oxide can um, react with superoxide anion um, and to produce uh, harmful free radicals like peroxy nitrate um, uh, and subsequent um, the hydroxyl radical, which hydrogen gas uh, in particular um, can effectively reduce both of these oxidants. And this is um, articulated within the article itself. Uh, it goes on to say, furthermore, combination therapy of nitric oxide and H2 demonstrates a synergistic effect in an acute lung injury model, such as what can occur in COVID-19. So in light of that quote, there is some correlating evidence that suggests that molecular hydrogen um, um, and nitric oxide administered together um, could possibly aid towards uh, benefiting those who have uh, contracted COVID-19 um, as on a cellular level, it's been characterized as a, um, a inflammatory issue in, uh, in an in a immune system dysfunction um, um, at the actual cellular level uh, characterized with excessive oxidative stress, which uh, these two therapeutic molecules um, um, have shown uh, not only great potential in these areas, but actual some human evidence towards towards benefiting these things. Now, the article sh shifts in this point and goes actually towards um, some actual preliminary data uh, regarding um, H2BEV's um, potential of uh, increasing nitric oxide within our system. And so um, I wanted to go ahead and highlight the fact that uh, it actually states here that nitric oxide that H two bed was able to um, in, was able to uh, uh, result in an average increase of two hundred and two percent increase in nitric oxide levels, uh, which is which is kind of off the charts. <laughs> uh, and interesting, uh, this quote says here. Inter interestingly, when hydrogen uh, rich water was ingested alone, nitric oxide did slightly decreased. Uh, and so uh, this goes um, right back to the evidence that nitri that uh, molecular hydrogen has some regulatory effects on nitric oxide um, um, and can actually uh, downregulate some of the overexpression that could possibly happen within the body. Uh, now, uh, these individuals that were drinking it actually exhibit, typically exhibit an overexpression of nitric oxide. Uh, so that's actually interesting. Um, um, interesting in it in and of itself the hydrogen was able to downregulate that um, as well as when administered with h2bev um, uh, or with uh, citrulline the the agent to produce nitric oxide um, it actually has a, a a great effect on increasing nitric oxide levels uh, secondly it goes into uh, this beverage or this um, these two therapeutic molecules um, that contain in this beverage, um, and actually discusses how uh, it can actually increase blood flow. Um, and so uh, here is uh, a very good quote discussing um, this effect that this beverage has. Uh, it said that the blood flow significantly increased from baseline at 15 minutes and remained elevated above baseline for over 15 hours compared to the control. The peak increase of increased blood flow was 231% at approximately five hours after ingestion. And so um, that's pretty remarkable as well to be able to increase our blood flow by 231%. Um, and uh, it also suggests that uh, the increased blood flow and the reflective therapeutic uh, thermal imaging was only mildly noticeable and for a short duration while either hydrogen while either hydrogen alone or citrine alone was ingested so this goes to show the citric um, the this goes to actually end up showing um, the synergistic effect that these two agents can have when when being administered together because hydrogen alone um, and citrulline alone did not um, increase the blood flow to the extent 
that they that they did when they were ministered together. Another highlight of this article, um, the last highlight of this article was was actually um, that I thought was very important to mention was regarding wound healing. Uh, they actually take two um, case studies uh, from people who were consuming this. And um, one was with an, uh, was with a 72 year old male who had skin cancer. Um, they actually had surgery um, and radiation therapy for the actual skin cancer. Um, and due to the actual radiation, um, I think he had radiation for 28 days, 28 treatments uh, for radiation. Um, and so it was projected that uh, the discoloration from radiation uh, would take two to three months to actually heal this discoloration uh, due to the due to the radiation therapy that he was receiving. Uh, it states here, though, that the radiation induced skin discolor was forecast to heal in approximately two to three months, but instead healed in only 10 days when consuming h 2 uh, which contains these two therapeutic molecules um, or therapeutic agents. And uh, secondly, I want to highlight the, uh, the actual other case study that is mentioned in this article in particular. Some of this preliminary data was... Um, was with an individual who um, was actually receiving a skin graft um, on his ankle. Uh, they went through this a number of times, it looks like three times, and on the third time, it, the graft still wasn't taking, it looked like amputation was actually gonna have to be the next, um, the actual next step. Uh, but he actually started consuming um, H2Bev, uh, HydroShock, and, uh, it say, and it actually states that um, once he did that, uh, the graft actually became, actually took and, be, and, and was um, successfully established within the ankle. Uh, and then it says here, shortly after the skin graft, the skin graft took and was successful, the tunneling hole, which was an injury or which was an actual hole that was in his ankle, tunneling hole uh, completely healed after seven weeks of daily consuming the hydro shop. And so, um, yeah, in conclusion, uh, it looks like there is some strong data um, within, uh, within this article that aids towards the reality that um, not only could this beverage um, possibly um, aid towards those individuals who um, may have contracted COVID-19, because as we know, on a cellular level, like you said, this it exhibits or, char or is characterized by excessive oxidative stress, excessive inflammation, and, um, and immunal dysregulation of our actual immune system, uh, which molecular hydrogen uh, and nitric oxide both have uh, been shown to have therapeutic effects in, in all of those categories. And so um, not only for the COVID-19 patients, but individuals who are um, that are generally healthy, who are aging and going through normal issues uh, that come with that. Uh, this product seems to be able to have some evidence here that suggests that it might be good for COVID-19, but it also might be good for those who are seeking to increase blood circulation or microcirculation of their uh, of their bodies, as well as accelerate wound healing, um, and, as, uh, um, um, and as well as to um, be able just to have a functional drink that's easy to consume that has therapeutic levels of molecular hydrogen. And so lastly, um, I think what's good to quote here is the reality of what's going on right now with COVID-19 and molecular hydrogen. Um, it says here that, um, that, H2 is, that H2 gas is being used in at least four clinical studies. Dr. Zhang, um, a epidemiologist who discovered the SARS, SARS COVID, or the SARS coronavirus in, in 2003, recently recommended the inhalation of molecular hydrogen for COVID-19 patients based on the preliminary data. Hydrogen treatment resulted in, in significant amelioration of dyspnea in most patients with COVID-19 in, in, in the pilot investigation. Um, and it says, uh, Correspondent, correspondently, hydrogen inhalation is included as a recommendation by the National Health Commission of the People's Republic of China protocol for COVID-19. Um, so molecular hydrogen is being looked at um, uh, uh, in a critical way for those with COVID-19. 
Um, and although uh, it is in particular, the administration method they're looking at in particular is, um, is hydrogen inhalation, uh, this study um, or this review article um, aids to the fact that hydrogen rich water also has been able to be shown to be therapeutic. Um, and in some cases actually provide um, greater therapeutic benefit uh, than hydrogen inhalation. And so they both have to be investigated, but this might actually be a good functional beverage for those who are actually um, um, contracted COVID-19. And it actually says this at the very last quote um, of, the, uh, of the actual article. It says, um, the hydro shot, in addition to its frequently consumed use as a healthy beverage, being clinically investigated for its potential use in treatment for COVID-19 patients. We wanted to go ahead and do a product proof video over this beverage, in particular this article, because it thinks it's um, exciting, as well as it's important for us to share um, with us being h Hub. We want to get we give people the best guidance that we possibly can in the light of this pandemic. Um, we believe this is actually a good um, um, product to highlight um, in regards to its product proof. And so uh, we'll, we will be having more of these videos over more products, on, um, over more uh, recommended products that actually have some data behind it for our product proof videos. But for now, you can catch us next time at the issue Hub.